uh, try uh, try to smooth things out, you know, gradually building up uh, detail. So I'm pretty sure that here I have a bit of roundness, you know, at the side of the uh, of the cap here, and uh, you can see here that there's a curve and that it goes in and then it curves out again. So I need to add one more vertice here. Actually I need to add two because I need one vertice defining this small um, corner here and then one that comes uh, brings that line out from there. So I'm going to go to refine which is here and I'm going to click once and twice. I'm going to click right mouse uh, button to go out of refine mode and then I'm going to select this vertice, move it in, select this vertice and move it down. So now I have that small detail which at first glance might not seem very important but I assure you it's very important to give that believable feeling to the to the bottle. Because now that we added this corner and that we will add the roundness uh, once we apply our uh, glass material and our, uh, which is reflective uh, we will have a much better reflection going on here it will the whole model will have more character to it so right now I'm going to go in and just smooth the uh, the lines out so I'm going to select this vertice right click on it and I'm going to con uh, convert it to brazier corner the difference between Bersier and Bersier corner is that if you have Bersier and you move these handles you can see that uh, both of the handles move according to each other but if I go into Bersier corner then these handles uh, move uh, separately so I might be able to do it with Bersier something like that All right. I don't want this area to, com to be completely flat um, something like that maybe. Now I'm going to go here. I'm going to first define this corner. I'm going to brazier corner. Uh, as you can see that when you convert to brazier corner uh, it won't change the lines to smooth uh, by default. You will have to go in and adjust the handles. But what I tend to do is to right click after I set it to brazier corner, right click the vertice and go to reset tangents and now I have the smoothness to it and I can uh, tweak the shape like so I'm gonna select this and if you want really small um, there's another way to achieve really small uh, roundness uh, in a spline. You can either do it with a brazier or you can go in and select this fillet option and just do this and what the fillet basically does is that it grabs the vertice, splits it into two and uh, starts to move it uh, along the uh, line in different um, directions and it will have that smooth interpolation between them. So this looks like a, uh, it's working for me so I'm just going to use fillet. I'm going to grab this one click on brazier, reset the tangents and that pretty much did the job for me I need that corner here as well so I might do it with a fillet uh, which seems like a better idea than to use a brazier because I have a pretty straight area here and I don't want that little corner to influence this curve uh, so I'm just going to brazier, reset tangents, and then move it out slightly. I'm going to grab these, fillet, and just move it out like so. All right. Let's continue shaping this out. Brazier. If the the curve is too big, then you can scale the brazier down to get that smaller curve going on. Actually I might need to use Brazier Corner instead. 
as this part is a bit more out. There's a corner, so tangents, move it down, move this guy in, like so, move this guy back in. We have a pretty straight area going on here. So, usually where I set my vertices when uh, building a curve, I set my vertice right in the in the middle of a curve, the the round the roundest part, so to say, of a curve. You know, just the midpoint um, where it's sticking out the most, and then interpolating the line uh, between the vertices. So, right now I'm going to select actually select so like this one go to brazier reset tangent yeah I'm going to give this brazier corner move out a bit move this out a bit as well actually I'm gonna fillet this alright I have a bit of curve going on here as well so I'm just going to brazier reset tangents you can even rotate it you pretty much use all your navigation tools you know, like move um, actually your move tool uh, scale to rotate uh, rotate tool okay so I pretty much uh, drew the outline of the bottle and um, before actually revolving um, this uh, line into a uh, 3D object. What I need to do is take these two vertices and put them in this exact same position, right in the middle. So I'm going to go to my top view, and this pretty much looks like it's in the middle, maybe a bit to the right here. And I'm going to check this is the x axis. So I'm going to check, uh, copy this value from here. This is the exact coordinate of this. Um, vertice on my x axis. So I'm going to go to my other vert and I'm going to copy that value in. So right now these two vertices, these two are in the exact same position and that's very important. But actually this top vertice is not working for us because you know we need the gap, uh, we need the hole inside the bottle. This bottle is hollow so what we need to do is to create the interior of the bottle as well and what we are going to do is I'm going to actually delete this and I'm going to grab my spline and to give this line thickness um, I'm going to grab my outline and click on the spline and by moving the mouse up and down you can set the um, thickness that looks alright to me alright you see we have some issue here but the thing is that um, that's easily addressable first things first I'm gonna move this up I'm going to delete one of these move this guy up thing is that a lot of bottles uh, interiors are completely uh, straight like the, the, the top side but I kinda think that this one is actually following that curve inside um, so you know m I've uh, modeled uh, other bottles and uh, you know you had this curvature outside and then the inside was you know just flat here and then going down but I kinda think that this one uh, this bottle shares the same detail inside as it does outside uh, you need to research this on your own bottle so you'll get what you're after well actually we can lead this and just use this one move this down just to smooth things out scale the brazier down reset the tangent here 